Hey YouTube, this is called Toot. Just going to show you a tutorial about how to make a cool space scene, showing some different effects, and you can apply them to your other pictures and just have fun with it. Um, if you can, subscribe to my channel, just get some cool videos later on, and message me with any tutorial topics. I would love to do anything anybody would want. Cool, thanks. So we're just going to start off and just go edit, paste. And right here I just found a picture of uh, an earth just just on Google. It's, it's you know pretty standard. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in the with my uh, circular marquee tool or elliptical marquee, marquee tool. I'm going to drag, but then I'm going to hold shift and alt at the same time. And then just pull straight out. And as you can see I almost got towards the center, just pull it out a little bit more. And what's cool is you can just move the selection. You can move it over here, you can move it wherever you want. Just move it right over the earth. Um, cool. Looks good. Then I'm going to select everything around it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Control Shift I and then click Delete. And so what that'll do is that, that took everything away. And we inver inverted the selection and took everything away. Next thing I'm going to do, gonna, gonna do is going to go Image, um, Canvas Size. So I'm going to click on Canvas Size. And this is pretty much how much workspace you have to work with and not the image size, which would adjust the scale. So this won't adjust the scale, but it'll adjust the workspace that you have. And I'm going to do 200% just because that's you know pretty standard, pretty big. Cool. So you see it just made everything else bigger. I'm going to take my earth layer, and I'm going to take out my move tool. I'm just going to move it towards the bottom left corner right here. Looks pretty good. I'm going to click on my background, go edit, fill. I'm going to use black. So now we have, already it's kind of looking kind of cool. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to... I found this picture, I just typed in Nebula to Google, I'm just going to copy that image and just go edit, paste. And so you can see, that's, I mean, that's pretty much it right there, but it doesn't go all the way to the border, so I'll click Control T and then hold Shift again, Shift and Alt, and then see, I just brought it to the edge and so that works out. But as you can see, these black, I kind of want it darker because these blacks are more like uh, dark purples. And so I'm going to click on this layer and I'm going to go image adjustments levels and then I'm going to make the blacks blacker. And so as you can see right here the background's getting darker as we keep on doing it. And you can lighten the lights up right here with the midtones but you know maybe do it a, you know if you do it not too much it'll just end up like that. But if you do it too much it'll get a little blurry. I kind of want to match the earth a little bit. That's it's whatever. I mean that's that. It looks better. So now the, the background is more black. Next thing we're gonna do is we have to add we have to add our spaceship. So we'll you know copy that and just go edit paste. So now we have our spaceship. And the spaceship is pretty good, except we need to get rid of that background. And so to make it easy you can just to work with it, you can just come around here and then I I like the quick selection tool just for tutorials just because it's pretty easy. But you can use a bunch of different ways to select something. And I'm just going to highlight around the area. And then if you get too much, you can click Alt and it'll minus. And so right now what I'm working on is I'm selecting the black area. And so you can just zoom in in here. Oops. Oops. Wrong. Click Alt, minus. Alright, looks good. This is a pr pretty rough selection. If you have more time, spend more time um, doing a better selection than I'm doing. Get rid of that right there. This little spot. Uh, in a later tutorial, I'm gonna uh, take the take this actual photo and put it into Illustrator, and I'm gonna show how to um, how to vectorize it pretty easily. How to, using the using uh, difference and this you know, intersect and all that stuff and so now the selection is pretty rough. I mean, please do a better job than I do a better job than I'm doing. Cool, looks good. All right, so then we're just gonna uh, invert that again. So Control Shift I, so select everything around it and click Delete. Oh my, well, what am I? My totally my mistake. Click Control Shift I again. We already had the um, inverted selected, so there you go. So that's that. And as you can see, we still have this little border around. You can just take your eraser tool and just erase that little border. That's just the edges that it selected. And then you can bring back everything else. And then take your move tool, 
And then that's the scale is not exactly how I like it. And so I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. And I'm going to rotate it just a little bit. That, that looks pretty good. Cool. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new layer. And I'm going to pull up my gradient tool. And right here I'm going to try to make a lightning effect coming out of this coming from the spaceship. And so just click and hold and drag across the middle. That looks, you know, whatever. You can do it the other way if you wanted to. So it's just like that. Then go filter render difference clouds and this will give you a pretty cool little effect going down the middle and if you don't like it just go filter difference clouds again oops you know you, you don't want to you want to undo it and then and then go filter difference clouds no don't like it don't like it again this no this one's alright it's this one's we'll work with it and then we're going to go image adjustment levels and then we're going to pull these darks down or um Oh, we got to invert it, my mistake. And then so click Control I, and so it just pretty much inverts the entire picture. Then go Image, and then just, there we go. Now move this dark slider down, and so we just stick with these whites. And so then you get a kind of a pretty, actually kind of cool lightning effect, just going, you know, not too bad. Then click OK. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click, we're going to go to these, uh, Layer options are here, and we're going to click screen. And what screen's going to do is it's going to take all the dark colors and just pretty much put them away. So you can see that we have this really cool lightning effect just hanging out right there. Oops, no, I don't. I'm changing this stuff right there. There we go. So we can rotate this and move it. What I'm going to do, this kind of cool effect, is I'm going to stick one of the endpoints of the laser right on the spaceship part right there I'm gonna put it behind and then I'm gonna take this little um, it's this, it's in the center I'm not sure I forget what it's called uh, it's pretty much where it's gonna um, where the perspective is from so now when I rotate the object it'll rotate around that little spaceship and when I scale it it'll scale um, according to that according to the little dot thing and I'm gonna move this guy right over the bay area so you can see right there, pretty much the Bay Area is getting done, it was just hor it's messed up right now. So we'll just keep that right there, and then click OK. And then I don't really like it in, in front, and so I'm going to put it to the back, and so now the spaceship's over it, and you can take out your eraser tool just a little bit, and just, you know, make that a little bit better. Cool. Um, live, uh, one more thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to, we're going to make, what are we going to do? We're gonna make a new layer. Oops. I'm gonna go over here, make a new layer. We're gonna fill it with black. And then we're gonna go filter, uh, render, lens flare. And then we're gonna pull out a lens flare. I like the 105 millimeter prawn. That looks pretty good right there. And just have that. Oops. Uh, go. You wanna make sure it's in the center. So go render, lens flare. And then make sure it's pretty much in the center. And then go OK. So it's right there, and then we're just we're gonna do we're gonna go back to screen. We're gonna click screen. So now we have this lighting effect right there, and we're gonna move that right over the spaceship. But again, I want this below the spaceship, and so now you can see the before and after. It kind of it's kind of shooting. It's kind of a little strong. That's all right. And so before and after, you see it's like shooting down a little bit more, and then you need to put that Earth back. There you go. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much that. That's it for this tutorial. Just a little cool space effect, and some uh, lightning flares. Do whatever you want. Cool. Subscribe if you can, and suggest any tutorial topics. Thanks a lot, guys. Later.